Hi everybody, welcome to Coach Carl's Tennis at Home Challenge Series. So today's challenge, we're going to stick with indoors, so we're staying with a small space given that we're in winter time at the moment, and we're just going to look at a simple coordination and reaction exercise. So for this challenge you'll need a racket, a ball, if you haven't got a racket, something like a frying pan, and possibly to replace the ball, maybe a pair of rolled up socks or something like that. The challenge is quite simple, keep the ball on the racket, two hands on the racket and what you have to do is pass the ball up in the air and the racket over so the racket goes round the world in order to catch the ball before it hits the ground. Okay, so that's your challenge for this week. So if you find that a little bit difficult, how can we make that exercise a little bit simpler? Of course one of the problems we have is that when the ball lands on the strings it bounces and therefore can roll off the strings. So maybe we could try with something like a beanbag instead. So here we've got a beanbag. Now this shouldn't, as you see, it should land on the rack strings, not have a bounce effect. So let's try it with the beanbag instead. So there we go, we've caught it with the beanbag. Now most of you probably won't have a beanbag at home either. So what about uh, a pair of rolled up socks? So here we go, we've got a pair of rolled up socks here. Once again, catch on the strings, notice no bounce effect, so it just makes the exercise a little bit simpler. So have a go at that. If you're struggling with the one with the ball, have a go at that exercise instead. So another possible way to simplify the exercise, if you want to stick with using the ball, is just to put the ball on the surface of the racket and just try popping it up and then catching it, keeping it on the strings. Now you notice you need to bend a little bit here because we want to absorb some of the impact to stop the ball bouncing off the strings. So you bend down just to sort of catch it and try catching it like that, okay? So if you manage to achieve the very first challenge and you're looking to see how you can make it slightly more difficult, more about adding in a second ball. Now make sure you've got a nice wide athletic stance, nice and stable platform, and then catch two balls on the racket. Now obviously you can keep going on, building balls and see how many you can get. So let's see if we can add a third one. There we go, we've got three. So you can keep going like that, see how many you can get. So send your clips in, we'd really interested to see how you get on, and join us next time for our next challenge.